Hello, in this problem we are going to find the equation of the circle and we know that the circle is in the first quadrant and it is tangent to both the x and y axes and the radius is 5. So this means that it basically just touches the x and y axes. All right, we'll start by drawing a quick sketch of the xy plane. So I've got my ruler here. So here's the y axis and then here is the x axis. Okay, and so we just have to think about what this means graphically and we should be able to come up with the answer. So it's a circle that just touches the x and y axes. So basically there's infinitely many circles like that, right? So the only difference here is the radius is five. So if it just touches the x axis and the radius is five, that means that it has to be a distance of five up. So like the center has to be somewhere over here in the first quadrant. However, um, it's tangent to the y-axis, so it has to be a distance of five from the y-axis as well. So basically we need a circle whose center is a distance of five from both axes. That's only going to happen when we're here at the point five comma five, because in this case, the center is a distance of five from the x-axis. It's a distance of five from the y-axis. So in this case, the circle will be tangent to both axes and it will have a radius of five. So using the formula for the equation of a circle, it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Our h and k, that's five and five. So it's x minus five squared plus y minus five squared. And our radius is five. So that's five squared, all kinds of fives. So the final answer will be x minus five squared plus y minus five squared equals 25. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.